And let's bring in Anthony Cowan now, who joins us on the phone. Anthony, we were just talking about that, that win against Purdue with that enormous second half. What was different with you guys that final 20 minutes? Yeah, uh, it was a big game. Um, I think everyone, even including our fans, really got into it um, the second half. I think we really tried to lock in and defend, and um, I think that led to, the, led to the win. You know, a few weeks ago, you individually had four straight 20-point games. Ever since then, it's a bit more up and down offensively for you. And Mark Turgeon was asked about it. He said, we got to get back to Anthony being Anthony. What does that mean? Um, just being aggressive, uh, making the right plays. Um, but... At the end of the day, even if I'm not having the best game, as long as we're winning, that's the obviously that's the that's the number one focus. Well, you got a lot of contribution from the young guys on your team, the freshmen specifically. Which one of the freshmen has surprised you the most this year? Uh, honestly, none of them surprised me. Uh, I saw I saw a lot what they had starting all the way when we was playing pickup uh, back in the summer, and so no, none of them are really surprised me. Um, I'm just all excited for even what they can do even better. Um, and I think they have a lot more growth, but they're really helping us out. What have you seen specifically from Jalen Smith this year? Uh, yeah, uh, being able to run the floor, being able to pick and pop. Um, it's, definitely, it's, definitely a, it's definitely a good thing to have on the court, um, especially also, also on the defense end, being able to protect the rim and also clog the lane a little bit. So um, I think he's having a really good year. Does anyone on the team call him Jalen, or does everyone call him Sticks? Everyone call him, everyone call him, uh, everyone call him Sticks. I, I, I don't even know the, the, the name Jalen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe it is Sticks. Maybe Jalen's a nickname, and we've been doing it backwards. Exactly. <laughs> What's it been like playing with Bruno Fernando this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's always fun playing with him. Uh, always a lot of motion in the game. Um, and you, you never know what you're going to see. If, if it's a crazy dunk or him just trying to yell at the top of his, uh, top of his lungs the whole game. So you just never know what you're going to get with him. Um, but you also know you're always going to uh, get someone that's going to play as hard as he can for 40 minutes. So it's always fun playing with Bruno. Is anyone more emotional on the team than he is on the court? I never met nor played with anyone as emotional as him. So uh, <laughs> it's, definitely, it's definitely different, but it's de it definitely helps us out a lot. Tell me something I would not know about Mark Turgeon. Something you would not know. Yeah. I mean, I can go on all day about how, how he's superstitious, how he thinks he's so funny. Uh, <laughs> I can go on all day, but uh, he, he is a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But uh, no, I mean, obviously, he just. I think he's. I think he's really, really helping us out. I think he's really starting to um, learn, learn, learn the best way to coach us, um, and that's definitely kind of showing. I think. So. You know, you say he's funny, and a lot of people at home sit and look him, and he's kind of stoic whenever he talks to people. Give us an idea how he's funny. He's always trying to throw in little side jokes that he that, that he thinks everybody would laugh at. He's always he's always trying to do something like that. Uh, it's not it's not no, no example that comes straight to my head, but he's also he's always trying to do something like that. What about his superstitions? Which one do you like the most? <sighs> the superstitions. I think. I don't want to get it backwards, but I know it's something that he he doesn't kiss his wife he, before game day or something like that because <laughs> he lost one game or something like that. I remember it was something like that. So, yeah. All right, I'll have to ask him about that so we can clarify. That's great. Uh, hey, give me the – you were on this team last year, obviously. Give me the biggest difference from last year's Terps to this year's Terps. Uh, the biggest difference? Um, I would say I have to be on the defense end. Um, I think we're really definitely keying in. Um, in the defense end this year. Uh, last year was all it was always so shaky, um, but this year I think we we just we just have two big two big guys that really help us protect the rims, and we also have perimeter guys that that love to defend. So um, I think that's probably the biggest difference on the defense end. Is it just the personnel, the guys you have, or are you guys doing something differently scheme wise defensively? Uh, I would I would just say the personnel, and also just the want the want to be able to defend and to be able to to be able to. Just win, honestly. Um, I mean, obviously we wanted to win last year, um, but our personnel this year, uh, I think it really helps us out on the defense end, especially with our length and, and, uh, and how deep our bench is. I'm sure you know, Saturday you got Michigan on the road. You are one game behind them for first place in the league. What do you expect to see from them this weekend? Um, obviously they're coming off a tough, uh, tough loss. So I think they're going to be ready, uh, really prepared for us. Um, so it'll just be a good game. I'm, I'm excited. Anthony Cowan of Maryland, thanks for giving us some of your time, man. We appreciate it. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, yeah thank you.